I will present to you some uh, app that I developed. And uh, probably in the group here is someone that is interested in photography or, or painting or drawing or something like that. And you have an iPad and an iPhone, then you will be very interested in all this. Uh, quick introduction about myself. I have been working in the graphic department in Sony. And uh, I was working there. I was very frustrated because it was a very underdeveloped uh, uh, department. We did very, very little that we could, we could do much more. I was part of the, maybe you know, the Timescape in the Sony Ericsson phones. I was a part of this uh, team. I was working in the graphics in, the, in this uh, application. And um, after sitting in Sony and doing nothing, uh, I was uh, thinking that I was to spend my days better. And uh, I started doing this app. And, uh, Somewhere after two months, I left Sony. I started like in consult company. I was uh, continuing developing this app in, on the evenings and the weekends. And uh, that is the short story. And uh, the app is, is called Ecolorama. They are being writing in the news. It's come kind of this in the ETG SA. It's kind of a app that uh, so you, you can use this as a photographer. You can use this as a graphic design that you can use it for drawing or painting, or we show in a moment. It's five star here, and it's very good uh, uh, rated in the App Store. You see, it's only five stars. People write a lot; they use a lot. It's, uh, there is a Facebook uh, page with 1,000 likes, so it's right popular. If you go to, for example, Instagram, there are more there. I would say 7,000 photos uh, tagged with the Chlorama uh, tag. It has been used to manipulate the photos. And uh, you can see, for example, example of photos that can be created. It's something like this. It's a like, little like Photoshop, but uh, with less steps. It's many, many uh, uh, effects and many, there are brushes, there are effects. And uh, you can you can use this for different in different ways. Um, uh, for example, with this is, uh, has been done with brushes. Um, uh, so this is it, and I think I will I will show a little how it how works, and I will run in the simulator. The emulator is a little lower, uh, slower than the device. The device. If you're running in pipe air, it will be much faster, much, much more faster. I will start with some kind of brushes. You, you, in, in I, I can, I can explain this is the, all the, the interface. You can, you have different groups. For example, I use, we, you will use the, the image. You can have different presses to, and this is basically for photography. You can have different presses for, for example, this kind of things, and then the colors and the sepias. And this, usually, every app that you find in the market has this kind of presets from Instagram, from everything. But uh, there are things that are a little unique uh, in, in the application. I will show, for example, a brush here, it's called a stamped. A stamped brush can make uh, it interesting things. For example. This kind of stroke is uh, shanged, uh, based in the information from the image. There are other, other, other brushes, for example, this one. There's all kind of settings and the, there are tutorials available for doing all these kind of things because it's quite complicated uh, application. I can show a little how it works and then you can blend to image directly how you paint.
use this, for example. We will use this, and then you apply, and then you get this image to the next, uh, and to the next, and to the next uh, uh, effect. And then you can share to Facebook or Flickr or whatever you like. For example, this. Um, You can do something else, for example, which shows, for example, there are all kind of deformations on the there are more than 300 uh, effects and uh, about 1,000 brushes, uh, different methods, different all all kind of stuff for manipulating the image. Then there is, uh, there are a group that is uh, using use the, the app for creating art. I can show you the group. It's about the, it's all 453 members. They all the time are using the app and coming with new ideas. And uh, they are beta testing the app and they are posting all the time. This is only the post that we are looking at this is only from today. My post explaining things. So you say it's, it's very, it's a lot of activity there. This guy is, is usually the one that write the tutorials. So there are tutorials available. This is something that he did with a beta test yesterday. All the kind of stuff. Uh, there are, there are, People from all kinds of, uh, also they, they are professionals, they are, uh, I can show you some amateurs, people that, this is a professional painter use of the application, what he creates from a photo. So you actually, you don't need to, to know how to draw or to paint, it's you, all these, pa these brushes will uh, clone the, the color from the, the source and create something like a painting. And even this is a, um, we can show it something more. This is a, this is, she, this creator won some kind of prize in mobile creation and she called it Ecolorama the number one application that she used. She used for this, for example. Her name is Sarah Yarrett. It's other other application, example of other application. It's a very con concurrent uh, field. It's a lot, lots of people creating application for photo, and it's very hard to to compete in this market. But uh, use now it's around two hundred thousand users. The first day is seventy thousand updates. First day of a version, and the people are coming and coming and coming all the time. I will show that it's like one million people who dating, one million who dates in six months because I, I release a new version every month. And the, the way that I develop is that I release a version and I take all the feedback from all these painters that are in the group and I add all that they ask for. Anything they ask. They can ask for changes in how you manipulate the image or how the problem works, and I do. They are like the product owners of the, of the application. And then there are also beta testers. All the beta testers is about 20, and th these 20 people are very, very good. They test all the app. I don't need to test. They do all the work testing, for testing, and uh, they come with new ideas. And I do the idea, all the ideas that I, they tell to me, I do. Uh, no, no, uh, I do, I just do it. And uh, that is what they keep uh, all going. And they are very happy. And they're, they're, many times they say, wow, I don't believe that 
I say yesterday and today I have already the features that I wanted. And I think that this, uh, the, the difference between the Indian developers and the, the big companies 